What's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Got the Texas shirt on. Man, 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 man. We lost yesterday. But, 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 we had the potential to win. And once again, we saw we're not this bottom barrel team that everyone says we are. Well, we'll get to that. Let's just, we're going to recap the game and then I'm going to get into a little. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Now, we start off the game. Our defense was holding them down. It took them to the end of the second quarter, almost going to halftime for them to really start running the ball how they usually run the ball. We was containing Nick Chubb, we was containing Kareem Hunt. No one was really doing nothing crazy. Miles Garrett was getting contained. Um, David on Cloud was getting contained. It was, it was the game plan we needed to win. The game plan we needed to win. And then we had that beautiful screen pass to Philip Lindsay for a touchdown. Go, go look at it because it's beautiful. Hunt has to have a very clean game today. Taylor sets up the screen, near side, Lindsay with blockers ahead of him, to the five, looking for the end zone, and he's got the touchdown. That is the best, oh my, that's the best Texans play that I've ever seen in my life. That's the most beautiful play to sign, that's the most, that, uh, Tim Kelly, Tim Kelly, Tim Kelly, more of that, more of that, more of that, more of that. That was, ah, oh, it was so beautiful, bro, it was so beautiful, look. So that happens. I'm going crazy. I'm excited. I'm happy, right? And then, you know, we're playing defense. We're playing defense. You know, we're doing our thing. And look, the announcer said that he didn't know Tyrod looked hurt. Tyrod looked anything. When Tyrod goes in to score that touchdown, it's a very, it's a very slow run. Yes, there was no one there, but you can tell it's like a I'm hurt run. You know, even even if you're walking into the end zone, you walk into the end zone with a little more urgency. So that's when I first know, okay, something, something wrong with Tyrod, right? So halftime comes back, Tyrod is going to come back, and Davis Mel comes in. I think that's at the point where we lost the game. Now, I got into a little debate with somebody in my fantasy league that Tyrod could have played the whole game, and we would have lost still. But let, let's compare numbers, because they both played a half of football, correct? They both played a half of football. Tyrod Taylor, in his half of football, was 10 of 11, for 125 yards and a touchdown. He also ran it in for 15 yards and a touchdown. So Tyrod Taylor had two touchdowns. Two. Davis Mills, on the other hand, was eight for 18 on 102 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Those those numbers clearly tell you. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. Davis Mills might be a great guy. He might be the most awesome dude to know as a friend. He might be an amazing dude. I don't think Davis Mills is a quarterback. I didn't like Davis Mills' highlight take coming out of Stanford. Didn't like Davis Mills in preseason. Didn't like Davis Mills yesterday. I don't believe Davis Mills gives us a huge chance to win a lot of games. And that's just my honest opinion about it. Look, with Davis Mills starting, we might be that team that everyone says we are. We might be that really bad team. But Thursday, he has to start, you know, because that's, that's the thing. The injury bug, the injury bug, the injury bug. The injury bug bit us yesterday. It was all over us, bro. People's going down left and right. And then the fact that we have to turn around and play on Thursday, it's just, it's just it's a rough draw. Yesterday's game, like I said, Tyrod plays that whole game, we win. Tyrod ended up not playing that whole game. Davis Mills was okay, you know, he had that touchdown, but I just think Tyrod not being there, that injury not being there, it was just like, okay, well, you know, because I know, I know personally, how I felt. I don't know how that team felt. I don't know what it was like in that locker room. But to go out and see Tyron not come back, it was kind of deflating. It was like, okay. Okay. And then I just never really recovered from that, you know? So I think it obviously affected the team. It affected stuff because now you're thinking, okay, yeah, Tyron's not playing now, but we're talking about a hamstring and we play Thursday. So you start to put two and two together, he's not playing. So, yeah, it sucks. But, you know, at the end of the day, the Browns are a good football team. Do I believe we were on our way to beating them? Yes, a thousand times. Yes, I believe that. Because it was 14 to 14 going into halftime. We weren't supposed to be in that game at all. They just, they just took the Chiefs to the fourth quarter. The week prior, the Browns had took the Chiefs to the fourth quarter, correct? So, us being a bomb barrel team, a team that's not supposed to win, one game, a team that's not supposed to win more than two, three games. We're not supposed to take the Browns like that. We're not supposed to be in the game with them. So the fact that we were in the game with them proves how underrated this team is. Now, Davis Mills, 
He might have a great week of practice. He might go out there and prove me wrong on Thursday and say, look, I can be the quarterback for the team. I just don't see it. I believe with Tyrod in there, this is a playoff team. This is a team that can really put pressure because we're sneaking up on people. No one's expecting us. Everyone thought, okay, they have that whole situation in the offseason. Everything that happened in the offseason, this is going to give up. They're just not going to fight. They think we're tanking for draft picks and stuff. Teams are worried about winning games. So I think Tyrod Taylor being in there, this is definitely a different team. It, look, prayers up for Tyrod. Hopefully he gets back soon. This man has just, his journey has been crazy, you know, last year with the lung thing. And now he's hurt with a hamstring. And he just had a very interesting journey. So I, I want the best for Tyrod. I've always kind of liked Tyrod. I want the best for him, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully it's a quick, maybe one, two week, he come back. Don't know yet, but I do believe he does give us the best chance to win. Um, and Davis Mills, man, look, bro, I'm, I'm a look, I'm gonna try, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna try because look, every time Davis Mills gets in the game, I'm uh, here he go, you know. So I was like that in the preseason, I was like that yesterday, but hey, look, clean slate, clean slate, Thursday, Carolina, Davis, great week of practice, really get after it. Can we be Carolina? Maybe. I, I, after what they did to the Saints yesterday, I don't... It will be a good game. It will be a close game. I don't expect us to get blown out. Thursday's game, it's a toss-up for me right now. I really, like I said, Tyrod's my guy. You know, I'm all in on Tyrod now, so if Tyrod's not there, I'm, I'm a little sad. But, um, we just gotta play the game. You know, turnovers translate. Turnovers translate. Turnovers translate. We've been getting turnovers. I think we're on our, like, what, fourth turnover? We have, like, four of them things already. So, turnovers, 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 turnovers. Those things translate. So, we're able to get some turnovers on Thursday. We'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? As long as we take the ball away from them and we have it more than they have it, something's going to happen. We're going to make something sick. So, yeah, um, that's how I'm feeling. Jump in the comments, let me know how you feel about the text, let me know how you feel about this Tyrod situation. Are we going to be okay? Are we not going to be okay? Are we a playoff team? How are you feeling, bro? But, hey, man, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead, like this video, share this video, show some love to the channel, subscribe. All the YouTube stuff, yeah, y'all do that. Support. Um, y'all stay icy. God love all else. Stay serious. It's out.